Today's video is all about how to clean shoes to resell. I've gotten a lot of questions about this recently, and though I've made some videos in the past, I've adapted my technique. I found things that work a little bit better, and so I'm sharing that with you today. Hey guys, before we jump into the shoe cleaning, I want to share with you today's video sponsor. This video today is brought to you by Anchor Safety Sleeves. Uh, a friend of mine actually launched this product and this brand recently and basically what anchor safety sleeves are they are ultra thin disposable sleeves for your smart devices that help keep them clean in a dirty environment my buddy tommy is the owner of a tattoo shop locally here in virginia and he noticed that you know tattooing people can be a bit messy you have some fluids sloshing around and you've got uh, you've got some ink and so he created this product to keep his iPad Pro safe whenever he's tattooing. Basically with the large sleeves here, you just, uh, you pull one out, you slip the iPad into it and you seal it off. And from there, because it's ultra thin plastic, you can use your rubber gloves, you can use uh, your bare hands and the tablets reacts perfect as if there was no bag on it at all. Uh, with these bags, they're sealed so they're water resistant and then uh, you can clean them off with some alcohol and a wipe if you choose. And then when you're done, you just open it up with your clean hand, take the device out and toss the bag. Super helpful. And I've begun using these when I'm in the thrift store because, you know, it's dirty in there and I don't want to be handling shoes and then touching my phone. And so, yeah. All right, let's jump into this video. Like I said, I had some people ask me recently about how I clean shoes. And because I have adapted my technique and some of the stuff that I use, I'm here to share that with you today. First things first, we're going to put on our gloves to keep our hands safe because, you know, there's a lot of stuff floating around nowadays and I don't wanna get it on my hands. These gloves are just some wrong size for me. And uh, yeah, like rubber gloves for, that I, I use these for sourcing as well as cleaning stuff and handling inventory. They're a little bit small on me, but that is okay. All right, next. Because I do my cleaning in my office, I always lay down a towel on which to clean, and then I lay out another towel with which to dry right there. And then we've got our cleaning supplies. I keep mine in this little basket here. And we've got a lot of different stuff here. I'm gonna share with you what has worked for me and what has not worked for me. This is a Kiwi Quick Dry Sneaker Cleaner from Walmart. This has not worked for me. It is, a, it is a lousy cleaner. Uh, I just have it because it's what I had when I restocked my good cleaner. And we're going to go over that. This is a suede protector also by Kiwi. And this does work as a protector for suede, which is what it is. And so I do apply that after I clean and dry suede shoes. I've got a toothbrush. I've got a red Solo cup. This is the cleaner that absolutely works. I've never had a cleaner work better than this. I highly promote this. I've used a lot of stuff. I've used upholstery cleaner. I've used some random uh, fabric cleaners from, you know, you pick up from Walmart or wherever. Um, this works absolutely the best, bar none, hands down, not even a competition. We've got a magic eraser. I got this little lid. I put my soap in here and then I've got this little dish where I put some water in here. We'll go over that in a second. And I've got a fingernail brush for the harder spots. And then I've got this soft hair bristle brush. This is super soft and it, it foams up the soap really well, which helps remove a lot of the grime and dirt. So uh, let's set this up. I keep this big jug of water in my office at all times. And I just put a little bit in this, this dish here. Hopefully not spill all over the place. Cool, just a little bit. You don't need a lot. Cap that, put it away. And then with this, let me move these guys out of here because we're not using them today. With this soap, I just put just a little bit. This stuff is so concentrated. I'm telling you guys, it is magic. This bottle goes for eight bucks on Amazon. There's a link below to all the products that I use that I recommend. I'm not gonna give you links to products that I don't believe in or use. We'll start with these Nikes right here. They're pretty dingy. The laces need to be cleaned. And so uh, I'll remove these laces. All right, so these laces are gonna go in my red Solo cup where I have water and soap in there. Set it aside. 
I always let my laces soak while I'm cleaning shoes. I'm gonna set one of these shoes aside while I work on the other. And then we're just gonna take this soft brush right here. I'm telling you, this thing is the magic. Uh, I dip it in some water just to kind of get it wet a little bit. The water's not very deep. Get some of that excess water off. Just dab it in the soap just a touch. Get some of that extra off and go to work. We just start brushing lightly. You do not have to put a, put a lot of elbow grease or make it difficult. And not sure if you can see in the camera, but this is foaming up very nicely. Just spend some time working it in. Doesn't have to take a long time, but it gets the work done. Hit the bottom. There is some junk in the bottom, and so I have a method to get that out. That is, you can use pretty much anything. I use a pocket knife because of the point and, you know, the locking blade. It's, it's nice, and I could just kind of sit here and just kind of move some of this gunk out of here. Everything's going to collect on this towel that I have laying on my desk. I'm using the back of the blade as I go into it. Remember, this is a locking blade, so I don't, I don't run the risk of closing the blade on my fingers. Um, but I'm using the back of the blade because I don't want to cut the sole of the shoe with the sharp edge of the blade. So I just kind of work this, and then once I'm done hitting this, I'm going to put some more soap on it, and I'm just going to let it rest and kind of get into that. So there, we'll wipe some of that stuff off, get some soap in there, just a little bit of soap in that spot, and let it do its magic while we continue cleaning the rest of the shoe. I'm telling you, this, this is an easy job. This doesn't take a lot of work. This cleaner is good for suede, leather, uh, buck, rubber, linen, Gore-Tex, nylon, satin, canvas, plastic, and vinyl. So it's really safe to use across all different types of material and fabric. Now, I used to use this brush right here, and this is where I've made one of my changes. I used to use this fingernail brush, but these bristles are super stiff. And so as you're brushing, it's just kicking soap all over the place and flinging water and grime and dirt. This, because it's such soft bristles, you don't run that risk. It's not slinging soap all over my office, all over me and my devices and my computer. It's really, really easy to use. All right, so we've done a good job cleaning this. On the midsole right here, the outer sole, I'm gonna take this, get some water on it. This is the Magic Eraser. There's just a touch of soap on there and then start cleaning this this rubber section this is a game changer and definitely what will make your shoes stand out in photos as well as when the buyer receives them uh, they're going to see that you spent some time the soles get dirty so easily just from wear that Spending just a couple seconds with this magic eraser will definitely make a difference. Gonna go back down here with the stiff bristle brush and try to work some of this gum out of the sole. And for the stuff that stays in there, take this and I'm actually gonna drag this knife, not push it. I'm gonna drag it along to pull that gum out. If I push the blade into the sole, that's where we run the risk of cutting. But if I tilt the, the blade angle and pull back, we don't run the risk of cutting. Awesome, it's looking great. And then finally, this is another place where I changed my technique from how I used to clean shoes. I used to run this under hot water and just soak the whole shoe and then dry it. But that takes forever. And speed is the game when it comes to selling shoes. You need to get them, get them clean fast, get them listed fast, get them sold fast so that you can turn around and do it again. So now what I do is I take my dry towel and I just dry the areas where I cleaned. And it just wipes all that grime and that soap and dirt and everything off. The great thing about this Angelus Easy Cleaner is that it pulls the dirt to the surface so that when you wipe, you actually get it all off. You don't just smear it in like what happens with other cleaners. Now, there is still a certain degree of uh, moisture in that. However, we're going to stick that under a fan for about an hour and a half and that will completely dry it i'm going to do one more pair of shoes really quick but first let me share this video with you about anchor sleeves our sponsor for this video and how these are used with your smart device
All right, and we're back. Hey guys, really quick, thanks for watching that. Uh, I'm gonna be cleaning this pair of shoes. These are called Mozo, and they are a slip and oil resistant work shoe. Um, these sell for about $35 to $40 used on eBay. They're really cool, they have a side zipper on them, and they have uh, this nice little kind of plaid trim on the inside. It's sort of a boot shoe, and the bottom, you can see these are virtually not even worn, but they are super dusty, and I wanna show you how the soap reacts to a black shoe and how it does not stick once all is said and done. So let's dive into this. I'm only gonna do one shoe because you get the point, and uh, I don't wanna take too much of your time on this video. Let's dive in. Hitting this, you can see it's foaming up really nice. Let's get some more water on there. And we're just kind of lifting some of that, that dust that's sitting here. These shoes are so lightly used that uh, there's not a tremendous amount of dirt, but there is a lot of dust. And so we're just going to hit this, pull that stuff out. I will hit the bottom of this shoe just for consistency's sake. Get some water, a little bit of cleaner. You can see that foaming up really nice. This brush does a great job at foaming up the soap. Now I might end up running this, uh, this sole under some water just to get the soap out of all the crevices because a towel is not gonna take it out of those crevices. However, uh, I'm pretty much done with this shoe. Remember, be sourcing shoes that don't need a ton of cleaning. And it'll save you time and help you get your shoes out a lot faster. There we go. So here's the not clean shoe. I mean, it's still pretty clean, but it's just dusty. And then here's the clean shoe. And it just, uh, it's a little bit shinier. And yeah, it looks a lot better. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it brought value to you. Be sure to check out Anchor Safety Sleeves right there. The link is in the description of this video. You can check out their website as well as the listings that we have set on eBay to help sell them and get them out into the market. They'll be available on Amazon very, very soon. We're in the process of getting that uh, started. Super happy for my buddy Tommy who is uh, spearheading this product and this brand. I think there's a tremendous market for this in today's world for chefs and mechanics and tattoo artists and painters and resellers because we're always like digging through dirty things and you don't want to get that junk on your phone or your tablet. So hey, uh, check them out. Link in the description. If you're not already subscribed, click that subscribe button and then click the notification bell and then select all so that you are notified when I upload next, which will be tomorrow. Also be sure to leave a like and as always, keep selling, get the bag. I'll see you on the next video.